What's up, Pookie yeah, Bears? <laughs> why did I just say that? That is so dumb. I don't know why I said that. I apologize for calling you guys Pookie Bears. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, I'm Blame Truth. I'm bringing you a Black Ops Team Deathmatch I just had. I have a bunch of older matches. But I wanted to post this one because this, this match was after the real realization of how I should truly play Black Ops. Now, truth be told, uh, my Call of Duty skill isn't what it used to be because there was a big stretch when Modern Warfare 2 was released where I played Modern Warfare 2 for about two months, hated it, and then proceeded to not play it anymore for the next, like, six months. I would play Call of Duty 4 occasionally, but, I mean, not enough to keep my reaction time up there. And I uh, played other other games and all that, and uh, it, it affected my skill. And when Black Ops came out, I fi I found that um, my skill wasn't what it used to be, and I found that um, strategies that I once used were not viable in this game as well. Truth be told, I've never been a good player. You guys might think I'm good, but really I'm not at all. The thing that makes me good or that makes me get good scores is either playing smart or getting into a lobby with a bunch of idiots and uh, or a combination of both now it's funny because I joined this lobby right here and it ma mainly stayed the same no new people joined and I played a certain way and I got my ass handed to me like on a silver platter not really handed to me but I wasn't doing well I wasn't even going two to one and then I was just like you know, I've tried several ways to play Black Ops. I need to think, what kills me the most in this game? What do I die by the most in this game? And the three things I die most, I die to most, are probably the knife, ghost campers, and me shooting and it either not registering in a one-on-one -on -one situation, because the hit detection in this game is very screwy, or um, I would get view kicked to hell because I don't have hardened pro in every class, obviously. And um, so I figured, what is the best way to not die to these things? And I, I was just like, well, honestly, I should just slow the fuck down. Slow down my play style. And as you see there, I slowed down considerably. I waited for the enemy to come to me in those situations leading up to where I got my chopper gunner. I was able to get my chopper gunner and... Um, now I'm on the hunt for my next kill streak, which is the dogs. And um, again, I'm not gonna play like overly aggressive. I do have, I think I have hacker on. No, I don't have hacker on this class. But honestly, I should be a lot more careful with this class because I don't have hacker on it running through these buildings. You never know where a spare claymore might be, or a spare motion sensor might be, whatever. So you need to be kind of careful. And um, I shoot at that guy, and instead of chasing him down, I'm going to go around the other way to surprise him in case he did uh, want to turn around and try to shoot at me. I could catch him off guard, but unfortunately, um, he's a big dumb dumb and runs off. But the main thing I'm trying to get across here in this video, and the reason I posted this before um, the older games, was just because I see a lot of people on message boards, on Twitter, uh, in comments on YouTube. Um, saying that they're having trouble doing consistently well or that they're having problems with the knife lunge or whatever or the view kick or the hit detection whatever and uh, until Treyarch fixes some of this stuff if they even fix any of this stuff uh, I, I wanted to show you guys a way to play that will let you have more fun it might not be exciting for some people um, obviously I'm not I'm kinda letting the enemy come to me I'm not being aggressive because, as I said, I find that one-on-one -on -one situations in this game where two people just fire at each other with no cover involved, it really, it's really, it feels really random and it doesn't feel like there's skill involved because the view kick is monstrous and the hit detection is wonky and, um, I mean, as you all know, if you have a better connection to the host or you are the host, you'll have an advantage in that scenario, so, um, Basically, what you want to do is just stick behind cover and play smart. Ga try to gauge where the enemy's at. Don't rely solely on your UAV because there are a ton of ghost campers in this game. And uh, until Treyarch 
nerfs Ghost or does something with that, there will continue to be a lot of Ghost Campers, and uh, the way to combat that is I just hang back with my motion sensor because most Ghost Campers run uh, Ninja instead of Hacker, and if they are running Hacker, I can hear their footsteps. So that's how you beat Ghost Campers. It's not the most exciting way to play, but I mean, it's just, it really is frustrating getting gunned down by someone in the corner with Ghost or whatever. And um, maybe this play style I, I'm giving to you guys will help you not get so frustrated and all that. And um, I do have my chopper gunner and my dogs, or I had my chopper gunner uh, up with my dogs and uh, got a good amount of kills. Um, this is the theater, so that looked like it shouldn't have hit, but on, on my screen he was actually in front of me. So, um, yeah, that's the, uh, that's pretty much the game, guys. Um, I think it ends right up here. My teammate clears out their spawn a little bit. And, um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, hope I helped you maybe, you know, to helped you, uh, to slow down your gameplay or to play more alert, to play more, um, you know, uh, smart, I guess. And, uh, you know, leave a comment, let me know what you think, and uh, rate the video, give it a like rating, because it helps me, helps the video get noticed, and I really would appreciate it, and I uh, hope you guys have a good day, I'll see you later, peace.